things are bad. South Africans are in real trouble. We are in trouble. What are you going to do about it? All these weeks in lockdown, so much information, so much news about this virus, about the pros and cons of lockdown. South Africa's got one of the strictest lockdowns in the world. Uh, some applaud us for it, um, and many warn us against it. What are we to do as South Africans? What are you to do? What are you going to do? What is the effect of this lockdown going to have on your future, on the livelihood of you and your families? It's a question we ask ourselves every day. I am personally extremely worried. Fortunately, not so much for myself. I'm involved in a business that has thrived in this lockdown. One of the very few businesses. And no, we're not involved in the illicit trade of cigarettes or alcohol. We are a very much legitimate business. But for many South Africans out there, what are they to do? What control do we have over when the lockdown ends? What our businesses do to cope? You would imagine this lockdown is good for news agencies because it is just an endless bombardment of news around this epidemic, the lockdown, the economic cost that it's going to have on businesses and us as a country and individuals and Already, already it's taken its toll. I mean, we see airlines going under, we see publishers, magazines going under. Um, we've got really sad news. We hear SAB might have to pour away how many litres? 130 million litres of beer down the drain. That for me is rather depressing. Um, and it's just endless. Uh, on Saturday night, I had a uh, a Zoom meeting with friends and, you know, suddenly the topic, as I guess for all of us, changed to the effect this lockdown is having on all of us. And I actually had to walk away. I had to walk away. I did not want to be part of the conversation. I am tired of all these expert opinions, people telling us what we should be doing, what we should be worrying about. These are all questions that perhaps will only be answered when it's too late. I'm inviting you to watch a presentation about a business that you can do from home, from your smartphone, anywhere in the country, whether you're in a rural area, an urban area, whether you are homebound, whether you are one of the very few people that get to work, it doesn't matter. You get to build a business for yourself. You get to build a stake in a real business, a real South African business that has been around for a lot longer than most South African businesses and one that has proved to help empower South Africans to improve their circumstance. To date we've already paid out 25 million Rand to people involved in helping us build this business and I'm inviting you to come join us in doing that. But first you need to do your due diligence on our business. Come look and see if this is a business that you want to get involved in. And so I hope that I'm able to turn your attention away from all this negativity, this panic, to something that's positive, to something that you can control. And so I hope that you take a closer look and that you become a wealth engineer. Have a good evening.